Hey everybody, I've got a box of new stuff that just came in from Atlas and we're going to check it out right now on Eric's Trains. Alright, so for today's unboxing from my knife collection, we'll be using this knife. This is from France. This is an Open L number 10 carbon steel. Folds out like that and then locks. And there we go. Nice knife. So let's crack this thing open and see what's inside. It's got a pretty good weight to it, so I'm hoping one of the locomotives that I ordered is in here. We'll have to see. I don't love the packing peanuts. All right. Yeah, looks like there is a locomotive. And a freight car. And some piece of rolling stock and then a couple other things. So let's check out the piece of rolling stock first. That looks nice. So this is an Atlas Premier. That means it's XMTH. And we've got the Premier 40-foot boxcar. Chicago and Illinois Midland, number 16021. And the model number is 3003020-1. There it is. Oh yeah. It screams MTH, that's for sure. It's a nice looking boxcar. Add-on grab irons, ladders, all that stuff. MTH trucks. Got the MTH style inspection sticker down there. Nice undercarriage detail too. Very cool. All right, then we've got... Oh, cool. Some Atlas telephone poles. I think these are XMTH as well. Yeah, it's got that honeycomb style, so that's XMTH for sure. Open these up so you can see what those like. Got a couple of transformers on that one. And they've got a couple that have street lights on them. Non-functioning street lights. Very cool. And you can put these on your layout and then you can put, you know, like sewing thread going between them for the power lines. Very cool. So we've got six total. Not bad at all. And then we've got another XMTH thing. Street signs. A cross buck with two tracks, stop sign, speed zone ahead, do not pass, and then a few speed limit signs. Yeah. Very nice. Got the simulated wood post and then the sign. I like them. All right, let's see if there's anything else in here besides the locomotive. Yep. Oh, we've got a piece of N scale rolling stock. Got the good old Main Central Pine Tree boxcar. I think I have one of these in O scale, actually. Made by Lionel years ago. <laughs> end scale is so little and I've got a pretty good end scale fleet going now it's not huge but I've got maybe nine or ten pieces of rolling stock the only thing I need now is a locomotive and I did order an Atlas end scale locomotive that will be in at some point end scale always reminds me of Big Bang Theory when Sheldon puts one in his mouth <laughs> look I can fit it in my mouth all right and now, the main event, we've got a locomotive, very cool. So it's a premier locomotive, that means it's XMTH, and in this case, this is the Atlas O Premier GP40, very cool. Operation Lifesaver, 50th anniversary, number 50, and the model number is 3013829, and of course this is the three rail version. Got the 
instruction booklet. And here we go. I think this is that gold Operation Lifesaver GP40, if I'm not mistaken. I saw it in their catalog and I had to order one. Yep. And there it is. That's awesome. Ollie.org, 1972 to 2022. 50 years of rail safety. Wow. That looks great. Got the Operation Lifesaver 50th Anniversary logo on the back, and I think there might be one on the nose as well. Yeah. That's awesome. It's also got a little plow attachment. That's cool. So I'm going to end this video by taking this thing for a quick spin on the layout along with that new boxcar. So enjoy the ride. I'm Eric Siegel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.